Hola guys, it's Tara by Tess. The video was further out <laughs> when I started this. Let's see. That didn't do a damn difference, did it? Okay, so I got a string. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so distractible. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah. I'm not back, I'm just bored. <laughs> Oh wait, hang on. Now it's official. Okay. So I'm going to start with water signs. I'm just going to do you guys as an element and then separate you into the different ones. I don't have a table, so I'm just going to hold it up. Oh shit. Hang on. Sure enough, don't have any motherfucking clarifiers. Hold up. Okay, so we're just going to have to clarify with either playing cards or the same deck. Or, you guys know by now, my favorite game, Cards Against Humanity. So, <laughs> I don't know where my other cards are. I found this one and all it has is an Oracle deck and I don't like that Oracle deck that was with it. So, yeah. We may just clarify with the same one because I'm kind of, I'm already on here. I don't want to restart anything. All right, so let's make it official again. See, there, there's plenty of time for second chances. <laughs> okay, so maybe some of you water signs are having second chances. All right, let's see here. I've already shuffled. I'm going to try to keep this straight somehow. I need a table. It's really hard to do cards without a table. Okay, I'm in my closet. That's why I'm here. Okay, so I mean, that's why I don't have a table. First card. Oh, I didn't even say who it was for. Shit. Okay. Well, let me start again. <laughs> and I'm dropping stuff. Uh, okay. Well, there's somebody, maybe all water signs, that's why I got it. It was Nine of Wands upright and Nine of Swords reversed. To me, that's good. It's like standing the test of time and getting out of some kind of terrible nightmare. So I think that's a good thing for us water signs. Okay, so let's do Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Cancer, that's me, I get to be first. Yay, I wasn't even planning on that. Okay, so Cancer, your card is the King of Swords. All right, you must be dealing with this person or this is you. Um, it's very reminiscent of Libra for me, so you could have Libra in your chart, but it also does deal with Aquarius and Every now and then this reminds me of Scorpio. So um, basically any kind of reason or logic that could possibly lead to a transformation. Although to me, it does feel like a storm has just passed and that's led to this transformation because he is the King of Swords. And if you've looked at the Page of Swords or the Knight of Swords in this same uh, Rider Waite Universal deck, the clouds are still there. It, like if you weren't familiar with the the layout of the cards, you would think that there was an impending storm as opposed to it having just ended. Um, Page of Swords, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Um, somebody's ready. They're kind of on edge with the Page of Swords. Then you have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is coming at you fast and they're going against the wind and the wind is just blowing something fierce, okay? And then you have this guy who's just sitting there, like calm, cool, collected, because he has this perspective of having faced the storm. So this is coming for you guys, or this is you guys. Clarifying it, I'm gonna clarify the same deck, sorry. Seven of Swords reversed. So yeah, you guys just passed a shit storm of some sort. And it looks like you're coming out the other side, some kind of truth was revealed. This could be um, based on maybe a strategy that failed, but you're sitting there on your throne, okay? Um, I feel like 
I'm not sure why, but there's this idea of trying to teach somebody a lesson. And here I'm seeing that you learned a lesson and it was more like, you can't teach me a lesson. Who are you to teach me a lesson? You know, you're not God. Okay. <laughs> That's what I have here. All right. Cancers moving on to Pisces. Oh, wait. I guess I could still use the same deck. It can't hurt anything. Unless, of course, I show my face on camera. That might hurt something. Okay. If you saw my face, pretend like you didn't. That was at like, what, 530? So I'll go back and look and check. I'm going to shuffle again. I wasn't going to use the same cards, but I'll put them back in in case they need to come out for Pisces. All right, Pisces. Let's see what we have for you. Now, guys, this is just for like the duration of September okay because I'm not really planning on doing this on a regular basis I'm also you know I'm not trying to be official I'm just doing something you know what I mean okay let's see what's going on for Pisces What's up with these people cards? Shit. All right, so we have Queen of Wands. I'm just going to take all the people cards out of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an entrepreneur, or somebody who's a little witchy, but also like the sunshine of your life. <laughs> this could also be you, especially if you do happen to be of the female persuasion. It doesn't have to. You could just have feminine energy. There's something that you're needing to go after. Um, it could be something of a sexual nature, you know, her legs are parted and somewhat. So, um, but I feel a little maternal with this as well. Like you could have that one night stand or whatever, but it may lead to something, uh, a little bit more stable, um, in regards to having to be settled down with structure and rules. I get this idea of giving birth because her legs are open again. You kind of have to have your legs open for both, I guess, if you're a woman. Okay. And then the sun with the sunflowers. And both of those cards to me represent that idea of um, a baby based on the tarot cards. You also um, can see that we have the two lions and they're meeting at that central point with another sunflower above it kind of like the was it this not the Sadducees that's something that's something biblical I think <laughs> you have like the Pharisees the Sadducees and all those I don't know why I'm getting into that but maybe it has some kind of significance for you but the two lions remind me of the two of cups um, that's a, a Venus and Cancer card but it's also a water card like two of cups so you could be coming together with somebody who represents the Queen of Wands or is represented by the Queen of Wands or this could be you all right, it's clarified. I'm setting this on my knee and I'm sitting on a stool so my knee is not perfectly 90 degree angle. Okay, let's see. <laughs> the Knight of Swords. So I was just talking about this card in the Cancer reading. I'm talking about how something is coming at you fast and it's going against the wind. Um, so there's some kind of a fiery, passionate endeavor. We definitely have two people here. Um, now I'm not saying you're dealing with two people. You could be, but I feel like really there's some kind of a, something you have to get into and you're getting into it fast and passionately. And it may not be exactly what everybody wants for you. Um, however, everybody is not you. Therefore the decisions are up to you. Um, there could be some arguments. Okay. Not going to lie, but there's, for some reason, I get this idea, even though it's not in here, with the Knight of Swords, I get the idea of snow. I'm not sure what that what that's about. Maybe it has some kind of significance for you. Maybe it's talking about a time when this might happen. It's almost like somebody's trying to leave behind whatever has given you cabin fever or whatever's kind of held you back. And then you're opening up to more sunny and warm times. I, mean, I guess this would be, even though there's no snow in here, I'm not sure why it's actually a desert, but I get snow. So 
and it's windy, something like blizzard, something cold, maybe harsh, and then opening up something warm. However, the cards did come out the other way. So, of course, mine, the video may be backwards on here from what I'm looking at. Um, it could be the opposite way, maybe going from something warm to something a little less fun. Uh, but hopefully it's the other way around. All right, Pisces, let's move on to Scorpios. All right, Scorpios, let's see what we have for you for the remainder of September. However, please keep in mind, I'm not planning on doing this um, on a regular basis. I just felt like it. I'm pulling two cards, just talking about general energy. And please do not pull up any people cards. I'm just telling you right now, because everybody's had a person card. No major arcana is just people. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Usually I wait for something to pop, but I'm in my closet, so there's no table, no nothing. Just a stool and me and a camera, so I'll just be pulling. Two of Cups. Wow. I was just talking about this in the Leo reading. Not Leo. Oh my goodness. I was looking at the Lion. In the Pisces reading, so you could be dealing with the Pisces. However, this card is Venus and Cancer, so you could also be dealing with the Cancer. Overall, you're dealing with a water sign, possible fire sign with this Lion in the background. And it looks like there is a union coming up. And this would be a very satisfying union, um, an intertwining of two people. If you're a male Scorpio, it looks like you'll be reaching out to someone. If you're a female Scorpio, it looks like you'll be reached out to, okay? Or just in general, there's a male Scorpio who's planning on reaching out to someone. Um, it could just be a masculine energy. If you're a woman who's very masculine, not necessarily in appearance, but in energy, then that could be you because you can see that's what's happening here. Uh, the feminine energy is more receptive than um, aggressive. So again, there's this idea of coming together. Depending on what other cards would come out with this, I'm only doing two cards. There could be this... Um, possible idea of marriage, but we do have an, a harmonious balance between opposing ideas or two people merging together. I get a sense of a lack of abandonment. This is like, I'm all in kind of a thing. <laughs> I just had a song play in my head, so, but that's because of the words I said, not necessarily. I just saw the justice card, but it's in reverse. Hmm. So it's like you guys aren't really sure if you're going to marry this person or possibly getting out of a marriage or commitment. But Justice and Two of Cups is like a soulmate marriage. So what I'm seeing here is you may not be married to a soulmate or, well, either way, I guess that's possible. Or if you're thinking about getting a divorce, think about it twice because you may be trying to leave a soulmate. Well, you, what? you guys have poppers. Three of cups. This would be like the celebration of the wedding and it's in reverse. So Scorpios, what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like this is the most exciting reading so far. I guess the three of cups is saying, go back to two of cups. This is saying that like, you have got to merge with this person. You've got to keep it together if that's what that is. Something fell, so hold on a second. I'm trying not to show my face on camera, and it's really hard. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. <laughs> I had a feeling Justice was going to come up with the Two of Cups, and it actually did. I just happened to see it on the bottom of the deck. The Moon. Okay, good. I didn't reverse it. Oof. That one, I kicked it. I might have reversed it. You guys have secret love. <laughs> Scorpios, you have secret everything, okay? It could be an actual Pisces because we do have the Pisces card. We have so much water in here. You guys are just super emotional. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have secret... You guys have something you don't want to reveal 
Of course. You wouldn't be a Scorpio if there's not something you didn't want to reveal, okay? But it's almost as if, I mean, if we had the high priestess, I would say, like, you just don't need to know something. Or you just don't want somebody to know because they don't need to know. But in this case, the high priestess is not here. So it's as if there's emotions and secrets, but it's okay if it's known, is what I'm getting. Now, with the two of cups here, especially with it, it's emphasized twice by having this in reverse, okay? There's an ending of a third party, it looks like. Um, most definitely, especially because the justice is reversed. And it's in order to kind of give justice or make justice. You have a lot of two ideas here. You have the two of cups, you have the two pillars of the two towers, and then you have the justice card, which has the two um, scales. And then this three is in reverse going back to two. So you're just two all over the motherfucking place. So there's this idea of coming together with somebody, possibly ending with someone else, but it's, it's, a, it's a scary road for you somehow. I don't usually see Scorpios as being scared. So this must be something super emotional. For some reason, I'm getting the idea of abandonment. Um, so that might, there might be some fears regarding that. And so you're wanting to merge or even possibly marry, but it's like, do you really want to go all in? That song comes up again when I say that, that phrase. So it's like, I'm going all in kind of a thing. That's, that's part of the song. Um, you're not really sure if you want to give yourself over like that because there is some idea of abandonment. But this is the celebration of a wedding. Like two of Cups and Justice is wedding, making it official. And then the Three of Cups is a celebration of that wedding. It's like you're not celebrating. So there could be this idea of just like a justice of the peace, okay? Um, okay, I get the idea. Some of you feel like people want to get married just for the wedding. And so you think, well, if I do justice of the peace, then I know it's just me. That's kind of sad, Scorpio, that you would feel that way. So I'm seeing... I mean, with the Two of Cups here as your first card that came out, I feel like it's a it's an all go ahead. Don't let your fears, possible mental illnesses, okay, uh, hold you back because whomever this is, they're willing to like. I was gonna say go in half seas, but that's not what it is because it makes it sound like they're going half assed. This is both of you giving your one hundred percent, and all those little things that you don't like about yourself that you're trying to hide. They probably already know it because <laughs> we have a very intuitive card. You're dealing with a water sign, um, possible fire sign. If you're not dealing with either one of those, then this reading is probably not for you. Um, it seems like they're like, yeah, so, <laughs> but you are afraid. You're afraid of possible reunion. You're afraid of getting together. You don't want to celebrate. You're like, no, this is too good to be true. There's something else here. Hold on. Just so you guys know, I'm just, I'm trying to just like delve into what it is I'm thinking because it's come up a couple times. And I kept getting sidetracked and it's coming up again. So, and it's not like I'm hearing voices or anything like that. Don't worry. Um, okay. So the idea here is, oh, that that's kind of sad. Not for you, I guess. Possibly whomever you're dealing with. I think you're having to turn someone down for a relationship. And it's most likely because 
do you have secret love or secret feelings? And yet you have all those worries and everything associated with that. Like that's its own thing that I've been talking about. But here you could be dealing already with a water sign or a fire sign, and then maybe going for one or the other. But here you're having, with the justice having been reversed and then the three of cups in reverse, you may have to turn down someone, especially when in regards to a, like a very committed relationship or marriage. It may be something that somebody wanted and you're like, well, if I'm having all these secrets or whatever, then there's got to be a reason for that. And so you're second guessing yourself. And this is the first card that came out. So whatever this looks like to you, that's what you're supposed to go for. Okay. All right. Good luck, water signs.